everybody welcome to my channel where I make beauty videos relating to makeup makeup products and I make a little bit of vlog content sprinkled in the middle so if you like videos like that please subscribe and if you don't that is okay today we are going to be talking about the Glamnetics magnetic lashes I'm going to be doing a review on them I have had them for a little bit over eight months and I've worn them multiple times so I feel ready to give a very thorough review on these lashes so what we're gonna be talking about is what Glamnetics lashes are what they sell going through the application process the wire test I wore them all day to California Disneyland so I'm gonna share with you my results with that and overall what my thoughts are on these lashes so let's just get started with what Glamnetics lashes are they are magnetic lashes like I said they sell for about $30 a pair. They are sold on their website and at Ulta. They also sell the magnetic liner for about $38 to $43. But on the Glamnetics websites, they're always a sale or they have bundles or they always have a coupon code going on. So you're almost never paying full retail price at $30 per lash unless you want to. Um, they also have a very good variety of lashes out there. They have long lashes, short lashes, round lashes. They have cat eye style. They have brown colored. And their magnetic liner comes in black, it comes in color, it comes in a felt tip style and a liquid style. So whatever you're looking for, whatever style of lashes you like, I'm sure you'll find something that fits your needs. So yes, that's just a little overview of what Glamnetics has to offer. So now I'm going to move on to just the application process of these lashes. They advertise it as a very easy to apply lash, but I did have a little bit of learning curve. The liner itself, I have the felt tip liner and it is very easy to apply. It goes on very dark, very liquidy, um, no problems with that, no issues. It's very easy to apply a nice clean line with this liner. But when it comes to the lash itself, it does get a little bit tricky to apply. Um, I always have trouble applying it to the inner corners of my eye. So I am going to cut to a footage of me applying the lashes right now. So in theory, you're just supposed to simply take the lashes and it's supposed to stick on to the liner right away. But it does take a little bit of messing around with to make sure it sticks onto the liner. And I always have trouble with the inner corners of my lashes. They always tend to stick up. That's why when I apply the liner, I always try to focus putting a little bit more liner on the inner corners, the middle and the outer corners, just so there is enough product for the lashes to stick onto. So that took a while. And then after I used the lashes for about three to four times, I had a lot of trouble getting them to stick again. But what I found was I had to clean the lashes. All I did was take a little bit of my cellar water and a Q-tip and a cotton round and just lightly, lightly rub the lashes. I didn't want to damage them. And that helped the lashes stick on way better after like three to four uses so you do have to take care of these lashes obviously and after i applied the lashes on got them to stick the best as i can even though the inner corners are still sticking up this is where i go in with the lash anchors that they do sell on their website um, these are just little lashes with magnets on them so I, what i did was stuck that three on each eye one in the outer corner one in the middle and one on the inner corner of the lashes and these seem to help them stay on a lot longer so and let's move on to the wear test how they wear out throughout the day how secure they are actually onto the eyes like i said i wore them to disney california and i'm gonna cut to the footage of that right now just as quickly i applied these lashes on really early in the morning probably about 6 37 ish in the morning so i can get to the park by around eight o'clock and I did the same thing same application process as i just showed you i and the thing is as i said i did have trouble with the inner corners once i got to the park i noticed that one of the inner corners of my eyes was already lifting and that was only about maybe an hour after I initially applied it and all I did was sit, get in the car and drive to the park. So it hasn't gone through much yet and the inner corner has already lifted, but I didn't fix the lash right away. I immediately went and went on the Incredicoaster and I was so scared. I was just riding, riding the coaster like this, not wanting my lashes to fly away because I felt the lashes flying. So after the coaster, I went on again because there was no wait. It was early in the morning. After two times riding the Incredicoaster. So they seem to have survived the roller coaster. And the only part that lifted is the part that was already lifted. So after that, it already survived two rounds of me being on a roller coaster. I went and sat down and fixed the lashes finally. And I went about my day and went through most of my days with no issues. 
Um, it, I went on water rides, I went on the Guardians of the Galaxy, very intense rides and my lashes did not give me a problem. I was so surprised of how well they lasted on my eye. Hello, I'm back for an update. It's been five to six hours since the last time I fixed my eyelashes and I've been on a good amount of rides. And this eye is holding up very well. This one just popped off again at the same spot. So we are gonna, again, just gonna fix it and then see how they last throughout the, the rest of the night. And then all I did was just sit down, applied a little bit more eyeliner, stuck it down and reapplied the lash anchor. And so I wore the lashes from 7 in the morning to about 9, 9.30 at night and had very little issues with it. So it's the end of the day and these are what the lashes look like. This eye never gave me a problem throughout the whole day. And this one again is just lifting in the inner corner. I fixed it a total about probably two times while I was at the park but I had them on since early in the morning, probably around 7 o'clock earliest and it's already 10 o'clock so I would say they do last very well if you can get them on properly. Applying it can be a little tricky. I may have not mastered the process of applying the lashes yet but all in all these lashes were so comfortable to wear throughout the day and they do last very well on the eyes. I have worn um, regular false lashes to Disneyland the weeks before and by the end of the night my eyes were very irritated, it felt very heavy. These lashes do not feel heavy at all on the eyes. And on to the removal of these lashes. As you can see in this clip right here, I was tired of wearing lashes at the end of the night. As comfortable as they were, I just if you wear lashes, you know you just want to take them off when you get home. So I got in the car and I just pulled them off. They're very easy to remove. I maybe wouldn't recommend removing it the way I did. Maybe take out the lash anchors first and then pulling out the lashes. Yeah, they were very easy to remove and they didn't tug on my eyes at all. And the liner, it lasted very well throughout the day. There's no smudging. So that's what I really like about this liner as well. It does not smudge, it doesn't smear. Removing the liner can be a little bit difficult itself, but I just recommend taking a cotton pad with your makeup remover and letting it sit for a little longer than you would with any other liner. Moving on to my overall thoughts on these lashes. So initially the price may seem very expensive at $30 a pair, about $35 for the liner, but there is almost always a discount as I said earlier. So the price is not usually that high and they do advertise you can wear these for 60 times. I have not worn them for 60 times yet, but I have them worn them a good like about 10 times and they still look fairly new to me. You just have to take care of the lashes make sure you clean them after each news and you don't tug on them too hard. They still look almost out of the box new. So I do believe them that they are reusable. I am not sure how long this liquid liner will last, like how many uses the liquid liner will last, but the lashes itself, very durable. For the application part, it is very tricky. I did go like a long period of time without wearing them because I just couldn't get them on. But after I cleaned my lashes, they were simpler to apply and it is a learning curve. You just gotta get used to applying the lashes, applying the liner, making sure you apply like an appropriate amount of coats. Usually about three layers is what I go for. Three layers with attention to detail in the inner corner, middle, and the outer corner, applying extra coats there. And practicing applying the lash anchors because I think those are a must. I think some of their lashes, just not the Hello Kitty ones, do come with a lash anchor but just a smaller one. So I do recommend you going out and buying your own set. It comes with 20. I forgot how much these cost but comparative to the lashes itself, it is not too pricey because without the lash anchors, I don't think they would have lasted as long as they did. So after wearing them to that Disneyland trip, I was sold. I would recommend these lashes to anyone who's looking to try out magnetic lashes. They lasted me all day and I am so impressed with them. Just be ready to have a little bit of a learning curve. It is tricky to apply in the beginning but you will get them if you keep trying and yeah overall I highly recommend these lashes to people who don't like wearing regular lashes and lash glue. Very comfortable, very simple to use, I wouldn't say easy, and very durable. And that's it for my review of the Glamnetics Magnetic Lashes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!